Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. Welcome to our adding and subtracting fractions with different denominators <laughs> shortcut. We're going to cut this lesson down to about half the length of the previous lesson and also cut the steps down for you to about half of the steps. You can expect us to show you what it looks like and then get right into the shortcuts. Here's what it looks like. When you're adding fractions with different denominators, it'll look like this. 1 quarter plus 1 half. The problem is that you can't add these unlike pieces, so we have to change this to having the same denominator, or in other words, the same sized pieces. Then we can add them together and get 3 fourths. That's what we're going to be doing in this lesson. Let's get into it. The previous video I made, I showed you how to find the least common multiple of denominators and then make fractions that have common denominators, then add or subtract the numerators and simplify when needed. What we're doing in this lesson is cutting out those two first steps for something that's a little bit simpler. We are going to multiply fractions times the other fraction's denominator. Then we will add this or subtract the numerators and simplify the fraction if needed. When we do this, you will need to simplify the fraction more often, but you will not need to find a least common multiple, um, and, and so I think it saves time in the long run. Let me show you how it works. Here is a fraction, 2 fifths plus 3 sevenths. What we're going to do is multiply the first fraction, 2 fifths, times the denominator of the opposite fraction. So I'm going to multiply 2 fifths or 2 over 5 times 7 and times 7. What I'm also going to do is multiply the second fraction, 3 over 7, times the opposite denominator, 5. So I'm going to have um, basically an expression that looks like this. What this does, if you look carefully, is it gives you a common denominator, 5 times 7 and 7 times 5. They will both give you the same denominator. So you are not finding the least common denominator, but you are finding a common denominator every time this way. Let's do it. 2 times 7 is 14. 5 times 7 is 35. So we'll have 14 over 35 there. In our second fraction, 3 times 5 is 15. 7 times 5 is 35. Notice we have the same denominator now, so all we would need to do is add the two terms, 14 plus 15 to get 29 with our common denominator of 35 remaining the same. So that is step number one all over here. Step number two is just adding the numerators, and then we have to think about whether we need to simplify this. Are there common factors between 29 and 35 that would let us simplify that? No, there's none. So we're done. This is it. That's how we would add that set of fractions basically pretty quickly. Let's do another one. 4 sixths plus 1 eighth. We are going to multiply the first fraction times 8, top and bottom, and the second fraction we're going to multiply times 6, top or bottom. Again, you're multiplying times the opposite denominator. So it will look like that and like that. And then we multiply. 4 times 8 is 32. 1 times 6 is 6. And our denominator, 6 times 8 and 8 times 6 is 48. When we add these two numbers together, 32 plus 6, we will get 38 over 48. That's when we ask ourselves, do we, can we simplify this? In this example, you can simplify. It has um, 38 and 48 have a common factor of 2. So you can simplify by dividing both of them by 2 for our final simplified answer of 19 over 24. Done. This method works exactly the same with subtracting fractions. I'll show you an example of that. If we had 10 over, out of 12 minus 1 third, I would multiply each fraction times the opposite's denominator. So think about it for a second. 10 over 12, what am I multiplying that times, top and bottom? 
Did you say three? Yeah, that is the opposite fraction's denominator. How about one over three? What am I multiplying this times on both sides here? Or both numerator and denominator. I'm multiplying times 12 because 12 is the first fraction's denominator. 10 times 3 is 30. 1 times 12 is 12. Our common denominator is 36. When we subtract, we get 18 over 36. And we ask ourselves, can we simplify this fraction? Yes, we can. 18 and 36 have a very large common factor of 18. You can divide both by 18 and you'll get 1 half. 1 half is this fraction in simplest form. And we are done. That's the entire video. Here's a quick recap. You multiply times the opposite denominator, add or subtract the numerators, and then simplify the fractions. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.